it's early morning and I'm just a little bit excited to show you my current living room. Not bad. <laughs> Now that the sun is up, objective number one for today is to finish cleaning out the bottom of that bin. It's always a fun job whenever you're working inside of a green bin. It's starting to get a little bit warm in here. Well, that's done. What else should we do today? Bean header time. Yeah, oh yeah, that's one of them. Let's cut that. Oh, it's got the yeah. pressure deal on it. Yeah. Those are the ones that always break. I wonder who's here. the hydraulics up there and he, he put them in the wrong hose yep we can just come in here and go I want the red one up here on this joystick so I just go in here and I can now control the red remote right from there. so you don't have to get out and change the hose don't, don't have to change the hose <laughs> but that's how Millennials it, like to work you just change it with a computer change it in computer yeah. you, can climb on that one. you can climb on that one Well, here it is, guys, the moment that many of you have been expecting. We did just take delivery of a brand new MT743. I did not purchase this tractor. This tractor has been provided to us by Agco uh, to use basically for the harvest season. What we're gonna do is just use it. We're gonna put it on the grain cart to start with, um, and we're gonna work the heck out of it and see what it does, give you guys an honest review of the thing, and. Um, and honestly, I'm just excited to see uh, what a different tractor is like here. This thing is still steaming. It's so hot off the assembly line. It's got 14 hours on it right now. Those hours were on it when it came out the end of the factory. Those are actually uh, testing hours. So we are the first ones to really drive this tractor. It's, uh, it's very spaceshipy. I I love the styling of it. I like the colors. I know a lot of Fent fans that are going to say the green and the red is a lot nicer looking. I couldn't uh, disagree more. I love the yellow and the black. I think it's beautiful. I think the uh, the dull green with the red rims, not my style, but uh, this thing is sharp. All right, let's take a look and see what we got here. The first thing, looking at the steps, uh, if you guys watch my, my video where I test drove these things, these steps do go up and down, so they don't stay that low. Once you start moving, they actually fold up and they come back down automatically. Not how we go. I don't know how to do it, Isla. There must be one. How many rednecks does it take to figure out how to open the hood on a Challenger? There's gonna be a different video when I figure out how to open the hood. But some of the cool stuff I can tell you about this thing, the cooling fan actually pushes air through the radiator instead of pulling it and then that fan uh, we actually went through and set it up so that this fan every 15 minutes will reverse for 15 seconds and blow the chaff away from the screen here uh, so I know when like on our deer the uh, vents get really full of, of red chaff from the corn from the bees wings in the fall what this is going to do is blow that air the opposite direction and get all that chaff off there and it's going to do that automatically the way we've got it set up I think that's pretty awesome. I love the styling of this thing. Um, it's like, a, it's a spaceship, man, it's cool. It's really cool. Not that the deers are not pretty, but uh, this thing, this is an attractive looking tractor. I do know they got a, a new track system. I couldn't tell you a lot about it. I know it's a little bit longer. Uh, they did some different stuff with the, the bogey wheels here in the middle. So I'm excited to see if that's any smoother uh, when you run over a rock than, than what the deer is. I don't have any experience in a, in a Challenger, so I can't tell you if it's gonna be smoother than the old one or not. 
Um, I know there's a, a spring and a shock inside here that work kind of work together to smoothen some of that out. The tracks are set at uh, 120 inches apart, so they're the same width as what we've got our 8360 on. They're 25 inch tracks, just like our 8360 as well. This is a little bit more horsepower than the deer. This is a 430 engine horsepower. So there's a little bit more horsepower there. You can see there's, there's plenty of room to get in here and uh, get at everything. Everything's out here and, and clean and I'm, I'm excited to try it, guys. All right, don't, uh, don't get your fingerprints on anything, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Brand new. We're talking plastic on the screen new. Do you have enough room over there with your chair? Yeah. Yeah, plenty of room? All right. Let's see if I can remember how to drive this thing. Oh, they told me I don't need to throttle up. I know we can go forward like this. There we go. Scared the dog a little. This is the first time in a long time I've driven anything that wasn't green up this driveway. Here's something that I think is really cool. You just hit this. She slows right down and straight into reverse. You want to switch direction again? Slap the joystick to the side. Does it all for you. I think that's cool. It's pretty quiet as you guys can hear. I'm talking at my normal voice right now. This thing really is quiet, especially for a 430 horsepower machine. A couple other things I just want to hit on with this. It does have uh, the CVT transmission, which would be similar to John Deere's IVT transmission. It's a constant speed transmission. It's really, really smooth. I'm, I'm kind of excited to really see how it compares with the IVT John Deere. Not only is this thing made in America, but this thing is made right here in Minnesota. If you go back and look at some of my videos, you'll see about a month ago I took a tour of their factory down in Jackson. I'm excited to have some Minnesota built stuff here on the farm. I should mention that this tractor came through Ziegler Ag Equipment, which is all over Minnesota. Specifically, this tractor came through the Fergus Falls store, which is uh, about 45 minutes just northwest of us. This was a partnership between Agco and Ziegler to get us this tractor, get us this new Challenger MT743. They're not paying me. They're providing me with this tractor to try and get an honest review out of a John Deere guy about what I think about their tractor. We're going to work the heck out of it. You guys are going to see it all fall. I'm going to have it in a ton of videos. We're going to have it on the grain cart. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Thanks for watching and make sure you keep checking back because we're going to be pumping out videos. What are you doing, Isla? Trying to copy the tractor? <laughs>